Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and today we are going to be looking at some footage uh, of me trying to build a somewhat budget build of Red Purple Law. Uh, so first of all, I think I'm going... Uh, I only re yeah, I only recorded three games, I'm sorry, it's the time I had this week. Um, and I've just been trying out with a... Uh, a somewhat budget. The reason I say somewhat is because you understand here queens are really expensive. Rage you, you could really argue that they are not uh, budget and especially obviously Gordon. Uh, what I mean by budget is without Bond Clay. Bond Clay is reaching pretty much the same price as a Katakuri. Um, and I just, I just don't have the money to invest in it. I do, but I would be completely broke, and obviously I, I don't have a job, man, this is just a hobby. And uh, so I need to just cut corners, and I can't afford one clay. I can't afford Kid and Killer, fortunately, at least he is the he is pr very affordable. Um, and in AV01, to be honest, he is the most important part of our build. But it, it's really sad, I'm really sad that I can't just afford the one clay because I was planning on trying to play Red Purple Law full power at OP07 because it's my favorite character, but now I, I, a man that's been playing this leader for as soon as he got announced I tried him on the sim when it got uploaded and now I'm getting gatekept, gatekept, I don't know what, what the word is by people that started playing him um, for the meta. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm pretty sad, but um, this list works pretty fine, by the way. I, although I did not record um, as many um, as many games as I would like to because of time. Beppo is replacing the Bond Clay. Pretty much this actually hurts your strategy a lot, I'm just gonna explain why. You really enjoy, from time to time, when you go second, when you wanna steal going second, uh, which is not a lot, I believe, in this meta. I do like going first a little bit more in this meta, but it depends on the matchup. So with one clay, you could make some good plays, which is uh, depending on the leader on the other side so from time to time. Even if you didn't still go in second because you wanted to, but you because you had to, you could play Bond Clay, and then he would give you a active dawn, which then you could combo by playing Race Max or Gordon. Which is uh, which was really good because uh, you were taking away board and you were building board then with Shashi and Penguin, uh, pretty much keeping your uh, Dawn at the exact four that you started with. That was one of the best combos in such an accelerated meta as the one we are now. Um, and but with Beppo, uh, you hard dropping him when you are at four Dawn does not guarantee you getting arrested Dawn. So yeah. So most of the time you are only getting that Dawn uh, back if you play him with your leader ability, which kind of conditions you a lot with uh, playing the Beppo. And then if you get to attack with him, which is very hard to do. So this is the list. I made a deck breakdown on, on a list I was going to use. I decided to adapt it. It's actually pretty funny because uh, yesterday I saw uh, Cardi Kaisaku's video and his list is very similar to mine, just with the difference on uh, ratios. But yeah, I pretty much agree with the with the guy <laughs> on his deck list. I I built all pretty much the same one, so yeah. Uh, just a difference in budgets in budgets. What the hell in uh, ratios? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay, first. Two games, it's against Amoria. I finally saw Moria on the sim. I don't know why. I really wanted to practice against this matchup on OP07, but I guess we're practicing it on AB01. You guys saw there that I had a pretty bad uh, first hand. Um, and I really, I wanted to play Race Max, but I wouldn't dodge this Piranha play anyways. So it is what it is. And now we are about to see my very first misplay, right at the beginning. <laughs> so I swing with 5, that's fine. But the misplay is coming right now. So he already showed us that he had the Epsilon. We play the Raise Max, bottom deck Raise Max, and then we attack with Zoro. This was the misplay. I should have either played only Ayn and pass turn, or I should play Shiraya 
and then make the rice play with Beppo uh, anyways. Leaving Zoro rested there with Beppo is pretty much uh, an easy way uh, to for the Moria to get rid of the both. And so just just like that, uh, we lose our all our tempo. Not only that, great eruption is not bad yet on AB01. <laughs> so yeah. So it's just now I know he's going to attach two and swing, and I really can't protect it because then I just lose all my fuel. So yeah. We already see a really big misplay, putting Shirai there and having the Beppo, I think maybe it was the way to go. Playing Ayn, it would get removed, but we would have a lot of Dawn. So I don't know, I don't know, but I think I would have I would have gone with the Shirai Beppo play. Now we just, we just make a swing and play Ayn, like we should have in the first turn, <laughs> in the second turn, sorry. Uh, yeah. As soon as I pass turn with that Zoro rest, I'm like, oh, damn, I think I lost just here. <laughs> uh, Red Purple is a very tempo deck, and if you mess up really bad like I did now on the very first turn, you you almost have no way to come back, especially against Moria. Moria, right now in AB01, Moria is not as bad of a matchup, by the way, uh, in my opinion, but uh, it's... Um, in AB, in AB, sorry, in OP07, it's a lot more of a problem I I think he counters us really I think it's the biggest counter actually um, so yeah so he plays that Kobe and now we are going to see my second misplay <laughs> so that Kobe uh, I know what that Kobe does but the alt art threw me away <laughs> so I thought it was a different card so I'm just gonna make seven I knew if I just made seven onto a board he would just uh, he would just uh, protected with Rebecca and now I'm deciding Absalon or Kobe and I should go for Absalon. I thought for some reason Kobe said activate main and it doesn't it's on play so it yeah I should have yeah there you go and I play Gordon because at this point when I did this uh, I still didn't know what Kobe actually was doing so I was like I probably just lost right away so I just decided to play Gordon, maybe paid out a removal to stay with the Beppo or Shiraya. We'll see, but at this point, as you guys can see, like I don't have good board. Uh, he's still at two lives, he has good board, I only have one card in hand, so at this point, we pretty much lost. Sorry if I'm giving spoilers and maybe someone was expecting somewhat of a comeback. I just prefer to explain thought process and explain mistakes. I think that's much more uh, transforming. But yeah, like, he can play very slowly now, as soon as he reached that point. He can play, uh, yeah, here I just block with Shirai because I'm like, he, he, he can play super slowly, so he can play Moria and remove whatever he has to remove, and even if I let Shirai on a field, he could just take away uh, probably Beppo and uh, Shirai, so yeah. Yeah, so here, instead of playing the um, the searcher, the bald guy, he would just play uh, the Tsuru that he just... Yeah, he would just uh, take away both parts, so I decided to protect myself. And now we have another race max. There's really nothing I can do. Yeah, so I just conceive. Uh, now there's going to be some cuts, because we do, uh, we do talk a little bit, so wait just a little bit. Where, where is the cut? Editing shambles. There you go. That's the cut. So you guys can still stop if you guys want to see the, the conversation. It's fine. Yeah, so in the, in the chat, in case you didn't see, I, I do admit right away that I made misplays. That that misplay on the early game really, uh, really messed me up. Yeah, so I'm just telling my first hand that was a really bad hand. And now I'm gonna play Gordon. He's gonna send a message as well. Don't play Gordon uh, on your first turn against the Moria. The reason is uh, he's gonna get removed super fast. Uh, but I I wanted to make his plays predictable on the other side, so I knew he was going for the Absalon and not Perona because Perona has no uh, effect here. 
So yeah. Yeah, so he's he's telling to hold on to the Gordons. And I'm like, I know, I'm trying to do something here with my uh, uh, Zoro Rush there and my uh, Promo Law. Yeah, and I'm explaining that last game, I, I spelled the game wrong, that I had not that much to do at some point. <laughs> so yeah. So there you go. So here I make a small mistake, but it does work out in my favor actually. Small misplay. So he, he counters and then I swing again. Yeah, so here I see, I'm like, oh, he's at six cards. I, I could have just played the blocker law at seven. But yeah, I still do this. He now has Perona. So we did hit Perona, so he could just make me um, discard the card. I would just discard Beppo. It depends because uh, he, with the Don he has, he probably cannot, uh, he needs to have an Absalon in hand. And the Absalon he has is already on the field. So I was pretty confident that he didn't have the Absalom. Ended up working in my favor. But what she does, what he does, Bonia does, is he decreases power on my blocker law. And yeah, I'm looking at whatever he's doing. Like three done? What can he? And then he plays the copy. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that card. I was like, what can he remove? With the three dawn, there's no removal card, but no, there is. It's Kobe, and yeah. So here, it's my uh, realization of reading the effect right. Yeah, there you go. So, sorry guys, you're just seeing here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was like, oh my god, that that was what made me realize of that that misplay that I told you guys about. And he, he catches people really off guard. He told me, I don't know if he appears here, he told me it's a budget list. Uh, budget at least, not budget list, but budget option. He doesn't have the... Um, I forgot the name of the card. But it's the girl, the navy, that you usually... Hina! There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he's, he's playing it right now. He's telling us about it right now. Yeah, and I explained him, and I'm I'm trying out somewhat of budgets. So here I'm gonna think for a long of time. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know. Um, the play that I'm gonna do is gonna make sense, but I've reviewed this this replay a lot, and I don't remember what I was thinking about it uh, now. But yeah, what I decided to do, I believe, sorry if I'm telling you guys wrong this, what I decided to do was swing into Absalon, and if he doesn't let Absalon go, he'll be in uh, bad hand size, and then I'll just play the promo law, and bottom deck the Perona, uh, and then just play uh, something else, you know, but play the Beppo, sorry, I would still play the Beppo. So yeah, but he let Absalon go, leaving him at uh, po probable three swings, uh, but he was on Moria curve play, so I was like, he probably want to play Moria, and there you go, the destroy the kid blocker. So yeah, I believe that was I was thinking like seeing if he what I could bait out with Moria play, um, and then it just makes uh, two 5k swings. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna counter out with Beppo. Thankfully, all of this play made me. Uh, have Beppo in my field at least, so it's really good. And now I'm gonna think a little bit, but yeah, I'm just gonna take board. This is not a bad position for us, by the way. He is uh, very low on cards in hand, which is nice. So yeah, I'm I'm like, okay, I need to leave four, swing into Perona, and then I'm just gonna bottom deck Absalon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I'm sorry I can't explain you guys the exact thought process, but I was just, uh, I remember just trying to figure out the future plays and what I could do because he, he was not in healthy hand size. That was the biggest factor here. And I just needed for him to either try to commit to finish game here. Uh, he could attach Don and uh, to like Kobe and Moria and finish. 
but I, I was trying to bait out him to try and finish. He could, by the way, because we don't have that much. We have absolutely no counter, and then he makes this uh, 9k swing, and I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. So I was like, there's no way, man. There's no way he's going for game, but uh, then he made that swing. I was trying to bait out a swing onto Beppo. He plays Great Eruption, so he is going for removal. He plays Kuzan, plays Sabo, so he played Afraid here. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> but still, now we are in a position where... Um, where uh, I really need to finish next turn, so yeah. So he has a Sabo, he has three lives, we have one dream. <laughs> we have one dream. So I'm gonna test the warders a little bit and just swing for six. Okay, I didn't remember this conversation. He takes. Okay, sorry. I forgot to cut this. We're just gonna see it. Yeah, I'm just explaining to him. <laughs> the how long I've been playing red purple law and I'm still like not that good that's why I created this channel research and I'll I'll shall become better don't know now because yeah <laughs> but I played the Zoro play another Zoro and here we go boys five swings in a dream like he has four cards in hand Yeah, I'm just telling him my opinion. Um, he got full Mario and I was like, that was a good decision. I think Mario will uh, stay around a lot. I don't think Mario is, is on its uh, prime. I believe uh, OP07 Red Purple Law is Red Purple on prime. But uh, Mario, I still, the prime is still coming. And just the fact that it's still uh, very meta, it's, in, it's really great. So... Here he counters, I'm like, oh, he's gonna counter everything. But he takes! That gave me hope. And he activates Great Eruption, I'm like, okay, maybe. And then he took super long, because, and I thought, oh, he's just baiting me. Oh, he just gave me false hope. But no, we did connect. Oh my god, I can't believe I, I got so lucky. I got so lucky. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't know, here's the thing, because I can't remember my exact bot, uh, thought process, I don't know if I could explain you guys any misplays in case I did. You guys can always leave it in the comments there against Moria. Uh, I think I did the best I could. I was playing a lot to bait out Moria and his plays, uh, and ended up uh, working out at least, thankfully, <laughs> but I still got lucky to finish that game. Now it's uh, Blue Yellow Ace to finish off the video. Um... I think, I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing, my Guilty Pleasure right now is playing a little bit of uh, Blue Yellow Ace on the um, on the sim, on AB01. He's actually pretty much better than I thought he would be in AB01. I think he's, he's still going to be much better in, um, in OP07 and I, again, just like Mori, I think his Prime is still coming. But it's much better than I thought it would be if you have a well planned out strategy and uh, objective for the game. My objective with the blue yellow ace is just you kind of try to rush lives, and I'm playing for puddings to prima and try to have the Sanchez spill off to eventually play a um, a pudding, reset the hand, and then finish game. So yeah, so here he's. Uh, He's doing the same. He has a lot of cards in hand, which is nice for him. I am going to bottom deck that Luffy. We have the promo lot, that's nice. And I'm going to play the Raichu, that's the only thing we could play. Shashin Penguin did not have the, the effect. And I just play Zoro. Because he does not have removal, or much removal. And I just noticed he was at 7 done. I was like, you could probably play Gravity Blade, but it's fine for for me. He would bottom deck two cards, and I would still have three swings, but yeah. Then he plays the Sabo, well played, since he kind of whiffed. 
Unfortunately, on AB01, um, we still are in very big probability of uh, whiffing. Yeah, I, st I stay with Dotama because maybe I need to, to bottom deck something. And I prefer keeping two Otamas. But I don't think I'm doing it here. He's at five, so we can start poking. That's the weakness here, is because as soon as he whiffs, I can just poke him and uh, more aggro decks can just start slowly depleting his hand size away. And he's already at two life, so yeah. So he's at six cards, so we uh, he's at least going to lose at least one more card in hand. Yeah, there you go. And I'm just gonna make a six swing, six blah, <laughs> six swing. I'm like, he's probably gonna take, but no, he stays. It's understandable, by the way, because it's not guaranteed that he would have the um, that he could uh, survive if he stayed at one life. So yeah. Now he's at nine done. Oh, I forgot to say, we did steal. He's going second. We got to choose that. That's already almost a killer onto the blue yellow ace. Not gonna lie, I thought it would be worse in AB01, but no. And now he needs to go for board. He whiffed again, so yeah. As soon as you get his hand size very low, uh, the probability of him whiffing it's much bigger. So yeah, there you go. At least he got to to still use his ability. Yeah, he went for board. I just let him took. There, there was no way I could protect it. There was, but I decided not to. It didn't really matter having one more, uh, one more body on the field or not. Here I'm gonna poke it, poke his sabo. He's very low on car on hand size, so that's good with us. We can play it slowly now. There you go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and bait out another card. So I'm just gonna swing with Raju. Yeah, there you go. Like, please take away. <laughs> I have the kid and killer, by the way. That's why I'm I'm gonna bait out another card. Yeah, and I bait out. I just hard play the kid and killer. Swing. He cannot protect it now. And I just put on deck one. Get all my dawn back. We are not. We are somewhat running out of fuel, but I do have the queen, so I'm pretty confident. And now he he plays the gravity blade. That's that's yeah. That's the best he could do. That was the best case scenario. I decide to use the two atoms again. I decide to keep the queen, and we top deck the kid and killer. So I'm like, okay, I think I can finish this turn with the kid and killer. If not. Uh, I, you guys will see now that I'm going to adapt. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of six, swing, six swings to see what he takes and what he doesn't. There you go. If he countered out of this, I would probably just play the queen and pass turn. He takes, so I'm like, okay. There was, there's no way he can counter out of the, out of this swing. Yeah. So there you go. And we make a comfortable swing, and as you guys see, he had too much of uh, Big Brothers. So yeah, it's fine. It was not uh, bad games, I believe. Uh, I got finally to practice a little bit against Mario. I don't know why every time I'm on the sim, I don't see Marius. When I'm on the sim, I see a lot of Luchis on OPO7, but yeah. At least I got to, I got to practice a little bit. I do understand their plays, but I still need to adapt a little bit more. I'm... Uh, you guys could see like I'm, I was still making a lot of misplays But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it when you guys stay uh, till the end of the video So if you guys did consider liking and subscribing and goodbye